Another form of restraint that we can use is using a, a chain on a lead shank, or you can actually go ahead and buy these chains separately. And there are several different ways that we can apply a chain as a form of restraint. Um, one way we can apply this chain is over the horse's nose. So we put the chain through the ring and the halter on the left side, runs through the ring on the right side, and clips up to the side of the halter. Now I like to always have a chain that's long enough to go all the way up to the side of the halter so the snap isn't pressing on any part of this horse's nose. The chain will have some contour to it, but the snap does not. So the snap actually can really damage the nose if you have to shank on this chain really hard. So I always like to have it go up to the side of the face. Um, this is a form of restraint that's you know, really nice for the horse that wants to kind of pull you around or gets a little high headed for you, that this comes in kind of handy. Just as we have it clipped up the side of, side of the face, we can actually clip this chain to itself and use this. And, and this is a very common way to use the chain as well. The thing I like about the chain under the nose like this, and this is something that we here at Michigan State University use on our breeding stallions when we're leading them to and from the pasture, and it's kind of a snatch down and an instant release that it doesn't slide across the horse's nose, it doesn't pull a halter that may be too big in their eye, as would the chain if it was clipped to the side of their face. Another way we can apply the chain is we can actually put it under their chin. Okay, you'll see this many times with um, young folks when they show their horses in showmanship. Again, it offers you some control. Probably not the best form of restraint if you want the horse to lower its head because many times you jerk on this and they're very sensitive under here, they'll raise their head up really high. So, but it does, it will allow you to have some control. And again, you could put this up the side of the face or you can actually attach it to itself. Another form of restraint that actually gives you considerable control, and I'm going to move this real quick, so you may want to edit that out, um, is, um, is a lip chain. Now, a lip chain, again, should be only used if you've got the experience to use one because this does cause considerable pain to the horse. However, just as we talked about modifying behavior when you use the ear twitch, you can do a really good job of modifying behavior with a lip chain as long as you know that you have to release when the horse is behaving or the horse is, is tolerating the procedure that you're doing. And with the lip chain, it's just as um, with the ear twitch, it's really important that your techni technique of applying this is really uh, well thought out or else, again, you're going to make the horse more head shy. And we certainly don't want to do that. In fact, that's probably the reason we're putting restraints on these horses in the first place is because they're head shy. So again, I start with a long chain. I usually put the chain over their nose, run the clip up to the side of their head. And it's easiest for me to do this on the right side of the horse. So I think you as a horse handler need to decide what is most comfortable for you. But what I like to do is slide the chain down, run my hand up in the corners of their mouth, slide it over the top of their lip, very, go slowly, because I don't even know if this mare's ever had one on, so I need to go slow, place the chain up high, right where the upper lip meets the gums and slowly pull until you get tension. Now this is, this part of their gums is incredibly sensitive. So what you don't ever want to do with the lip chain is jerk on them, really just start jerking on them. And I have seen that happen. I've, and it's very inappropriate to do that because it doesn't change the behavior of the horse. It might help you alleviate your frustration but we should not be alleviating our frustration on the horse. We're trying to control this horse. So the appropriate way to use a lip chain is that, let's say we're clipping the ears and the horse is really high headed and really being naughty about its ears, that as this horse raises its head, I'm going to apply pressure on the lip. 
when the horse drops his head down, I'm going to release it. Because as the lip chain is just sitting here, yes, it probably is a nuisance, but it's not causing pain. But again, if I were clipping and she were raising her head, I apply pressure to the lip chain, that is gonna cause discomfort. As she drops her head, because of the lip chain, I'm gonna relax it, thereby getting her more accustomed and more um, acclimated to the clippers, let's say in this case, on her ears. So hopefully she'll choose to let me clip her ears. And it works very effectively that way in teaching a horse to do something that it doesn't necessarily want to do.